Hello everybody and welcome back to World of Warships Legends. My name is Spartan Elite 43 and tonight, keeping with the theme of ships that you guys have requested, we are back in the Imagi. Now a lot of people think that all I play is American ships and that, uh, you know, I don't have any affinity for any other ships out there. That's just incredibly wrong because I play literally everything. But... The Amagi's one of those ships that I do actually enjoy, and I don't know, the, the main thing about the Amagi is I've always said it's a tale of two ships. Sometimes it's absolutely amazing, and sometimes it makes you want to strangle a mouse. Other than that, it's usually a pretty solid choice. Um, it, it's decent. All the way across the board. You can see here I accidentally have HE loaded, which is not ideal. Uh, but we are going over to the left side to try to support that side. Despite the game clearly wanting me to go to the right by my positioning when I spawned, I'm going to counter-rotate. Yes, that is a thing. And try to support the left side to give our team the best chance of winning. Now you'll see there is a division of two Iowas. So we're going to do our best to get their attention and actually, um, you know, put an end to their reign of terror. We know how good the Iowa is, and there are two of them. So we're going to have to do our job and try to get rid of these guys. And it's funny because they're going to struggle to hit us. I mean, they just are. I don't know if they've just got bad aim or if we just get blessed by RNG. But, uh... Yeah, unfortunately for them, I'm not going to struggle to hit them. I'm going to be farming their superstructures while they think that they're bowing and they're, they're being smart here. Uh, but, you know, honestly, at the end of the day, if I get these two, two ships' attention and I am able to do more damage to them than they are to me, here we actually get caught a little bit, but it doesn't matter because he gets a bunch of overpens. He gets one penetration out of it, but a couple of overpens. Uh, but this allowing my teammates to get away with not getting shot for a little while is going to let them do some damage. And you can see I'm constantly measuring these guys up, but I look like I'm about to go behind the island, so we're going to just go ahead and stop there. Uh, Lay Fantastic is spotted coming in, so we're going to go ahead and take a shot at him. We don't have a shot at anything else, so we might as well take a shot at the Lay Fantastic. Kagero is in trouble. He's being shot. There are both of the destroyers here. Um, Unfortunately, we do not manage to hit the late fantastic, but th that's going to happen sometimes. You take the shot because you never know. You know, if they if they maintain course, we had really bad dispersion there. It was very horizontal, so it covered a long distance, but uh, unfortunately, just not not led properly, or he changed course, or something along those lines. But the main thing is our Kakaro survived. He may have gotten beat up a little bit, but he is alive. And that's going to be big for later. But uh, we get a couple of hits into the Iowa superstructure. We're not the only one hitting him. Our other battleship's hitting him. The, or the cruiser's hitting them. So we're going to just continue to move ourselves into a position here. Um, and just do as much damage to these guys as possible. Now you can see they are separated a little bit more than they would probably like. Probably a little bit of a miscommunication there. Uh, and you can see as they start to get lower on health. And look at this shot. This is a pretty solid one right into the superstructure we ended up landing seven out of ten shells there from the amagi that's about as good an accuracy as you're ever gonna get but uh yeah you can see i'm trying to focus one ship down and get rid of him but now they're right next to each other he's got to get that that skill to rebuild going the uh you know the beauty of having a division mate is guaranteed will to rebuild unless of course you move forward and they sit in the back um, but in this case they are going to be able to will to rebuild each other unless we're able to get rid of them now here we do have the Akatsuki coming in he's getting shot at by our Kagero I know it's crazy uh, a Japanese destroyer using its guns what is this but uh, we take a shot and absolutely smash the Akatsuki for five overpins we're gonna take a couple torps here but at the end of the day it's not that big a deal they're both reduced due to the torp protection of the ship and we have a damage con, so at the end of the day, we, we do more to him than he does to us. Even though technically he did more damage. But he's dead. That's what I'm getting at. Now, Flander has overextended. He's put himself in the middle of the map. We're going to go ahead and try to reset that. Um, 
but you can see that the other destroyer has managed to put themselves in the cap because oh never mind we did reset the flounder uh, we have run into our, our cruiser here but you can see instead of just plowing through him I put it in reverse, I stop and try to let him go by so that he doesn't get absolutely obliterated. I want him to live. Balti's coming over this direction as well. But we're not worried about him yet, we can't shoot him. We're going to aim ahead of the belt armor of the Flounder um, and try to get as many pins as we can here. And we get a nice little chunk into him. And we're just going to focus him down. Uh, make him pay for, for overextending here. And you can see the Le Fantastic did in fact go into the B-cap. So he's a long ways away from us. Uh, and we're just going to continue to focus him down. Now notice that the, the two IOs can't even shoot us at the moment. They're not in a position where they can do anything effective. Uh, we're using the island, and then we just go ahead and finish off the Flounder. So, another battleship down. Now, we're going to push forward, push, our or push up on these two um, IOs. Because, honestly, the closer I can get, the better. Uh, we have... A slight turtle back armor scheme, so I'm not too worried there. We have d decent uh, maneuverability. And the closer I get, the, the more likely I am to land multiple shells on these guys, especially where I want to hit, which is super structure, while they're angled. Now here, he's given a little too much side, so we aim high just in case. We want to hit super structure, possibly side, upper side plating. We get a good, good chunk off of them. But we're not able to really effectively get rid of these guys. Now, Iowa does take a torpedo here and so that makes him a prime target for our suja or no a mouthy sorry to uh set fire if he gets a, a chance because you know he just took a flood and then the other iowa rushes forward and just narrowly misses getting hit with a uh a flood here they take a shot at me again we're, we're decently angled the second one gets a shot into me, breaks one of my guns, but again, on on a uh, Amagi, it's not that big a deal because we, we always have more guns. There's five dual turrets. So even if they knock out one gun, that's only, or one turret, that's only two guns. We still have eight left, which is essentially all of the file firepower of any American battleship except for the Kansas or the, uh, the Montana. We get one more parting gift into the superstructure area of the Iowa. He's burning. He's going to die. His partner just died, so there's no more skill to rebuild for these guys. They're going down. And that is where the skill to rebuild breaks down for most people. Um, when you have multiple people focusing you. And I believe it's at this point where I noticed that my entire team ran away from the ACAP and has now come around to, to sail behind us. Um, not sure why they did that if they'd have held their side a little bit better. I feel like they would have done better. But, um, at the end of the day, we're going to use them as a crossfire. They're in a position where when the enemy bow tanks them, we can get an angle to shoot. And if the enemy bow tanks us, they have the angle to shoot. We're going to we're gonna demonstrate this right off the bat. Uh, a lot of people ask me what a crossfire is. Uh, I know it, it sounds pretty basic. York goes down, which is big, but but um, developing crossfires, creating crossfires, is very very basic knowledge you should have by the time you get to higher tiers. Um, all it is is keeping yourself away from your teammates, allowing your teammates to attack from one angle, and then you move around to the other side, and you're attacking from the other side, forcing the enemy to choose who he wants to angle against, right? Your armor is more effective in one specific direction. So if you can angle against one person, you can effectively take a good chunk of their potential damage away. Here we, we look at the lay fantastic, we take the shot. Again, you miss all the shots you don't take, so if you get a chance, you take the shot. Uh, fortunately, Georgia manages to take him down. We don't have to worry about the destroyer anymore. But, when you, when you separate yourself from your teammates, you can see that we have three battleships left on the right side. We have the battleship behind me, we have the cruiser next to me, and we have the destroyer out ahead. We're going to move forward and try to put ourselves in a position where we got a crossfire. Now, right now we have a broadside Duke of York, and look at that salvo. That's juicy. He's lucky he doesn't get death struck there. Um, 
for whatever reason, King George and Duke of York, they, they don't have uh, very easy to hit citadels, unlike Vanguard and, and all of the rest of the, the British battleships. Like, if you're, if you're hitting them, generally you're going to get chunks off of them, but you're not going to citadel them all that often. Um, but it's just the KGV. Like, everybody else has a pretty accessible citadel, but KGV, not so much. But as you can see, we're pushing forward up the left side. And again, look at the positioning of the team. We have one battleship right. We have one battleship uh, just inside him coming to the inside. And uh, here we have a good look at the uh, Duke of York and the Richelieu. So we're going to just stop. Now, our destroyer makes a huge mistake here. He knew that Multi was there. And he rushes around the corner and gets himself uh, spotted and murdered by the Duke of York and the Multi. Again, you knew the Balti was there. There was no reason for you to just rush around that corner. Out of all the places he could have went, he decided to go there. But uh, Richelieu opens up the angle to me, and this is where the crossfire comes in real handy. Um, he can't angle against everybody. So he sees that uh, there's a battleship on his left. He tries to angle against them, and then we're able to blap the crap out of him with the battleship that's next to us. Balti's going to come around the corner. He's low health, so we want to get rid of him uh, just because of DPM and fire, sp fire spammy potential. So we're going to go ahead and take a shot at him with the front guns, hoping to kill him with a citadel here. And we sure do get the citadel, and he goes down. Now, Richelieu has decided that, you know, going broadside to us was a bad idea. He's going to try to angle, but it's a little too late. We're going to go up into the superstructure here. He shoots HE at us. Uh, we actually don't do any damage. We take and hit two shells that are penetrated into his guns, and the rest do no damage either. So, while while we did potentially make his guns easier to take out, at the end of the day, we didn't take his guns out, and we did no damage in that salvo. But we're at 156,000 damage. We're going to go ahead and aim up into the superstructure and guns again. We do knock one of his guns this time. We get five penetrations. And he then is over-angled to the other side of the map. Uh, Duke of York goes down to our Amalfi. And now it's just the Richelieu. We load up the HE because we've already saturated his superstructure. We want to make sure that we get a, a clean hit on him to finish him off. And he can't do anything against these, the HE. Uh, Japanese HE is nasty enough. And, you know, we're going to be able to just blap him. So, guaranteed finishing him off. Um... And we knew he damaged Cond anyway, so even if we didn't do enough damage to kill him, we were going to get the permafire. 167,000 damage, 3,000 base XP. That's a solid Amagi game, and a perfect game to illustrate what I mean by uh, crossfires. Georgia did a solid job as well, getting a Confederate, getting the Dreadnought, getting the High Cal. We get a Confederate, we get a High Cal. So let me know what you guys think. Are you guys enjoying us revisiting some of these other ships that you guys have requested? And if you like what I'm doing, Punch the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and as always, I will see you in the next video.